Hi friends. In last video, we discussed about the what is MuleSoft and how to download the MuleSoft on your system. And in this video, we'll discuss about the and MuleSoft and Epon Studio. What is the functionality? How basically it works. So this is the MuleSoft Studio. This is a platform which is used to develop MuleSoft APIs. So you can see there are lots of things. Uh, you can see this is one the package explorer. This is the blank screen right now. You can see everything is blank right now. So uh, let's start now uh, to start a new project to create a new project. We'll go to the files option. Then click on new mule project. So here we need to write the project name. Let's say my project is test dot approach okay if we want to use maven on your on our project we can use it just click on the maven this will mavenize our project right now we'll create a simple project without mavenize then click next here we can select the java we want to use right now we are using 1.8 we can use it and then click on next and it will create two folder one is src and another is the target folder click on finish after clicking on the finish it will go and do all the stuff like building path doing all the settings it will create a project in our project explorer it will do it will basically create a skeleton of the project so this is the project explorer where we will find our project and here we have a canvas where we basically drag and drop the stuff and do our programming thing and this is the palette from where we have all the connectors okay so let's go to the project path so here uh, you can see src main app this pro this area contains your basically the xml files your project xml files right now it's blank now uh, src main api contain the raml part like uh, if uh, like raml are basically a rest api modeling language which is used to create a restful api here you will place the raml here if you have some custom code in java you need to place over here and here we have resources like properties file or some schemas are there you can place it over here and if we are using any you can say the soap service we can place visual in this folder now the this is the development part and then we have a testing part src test java if you have some java file need to test it junit we can write in this area in this folder and then if you have some m unit so to basically unit testing of the mule is done used by m unit that we will discuss later so here we'll have a m unit here we have test resource so whatever resources we are using to test to for the M unit or the J unit, we will place it over here. And then we have target folder. Target folder basically generates the class files if we have any Java files over there. So this is our canvas from where we basically do the stuff like dragging and do the all programming stuff, creating flows and other stuff. So uh, this is a global elements whatever connectors we are creating over here uh, it will come to the global element so now we have con then next to the configuration xml whatever we are writing whatever we are writing or we are dragging the components from uh, palette to the canvas it automatically coded and stored in, into an xml format right now it's blank so if let's say, let's say I am fetching HTTP from my palette to here. So this will create a flow which contains the HTTP and uh, which contains source and HTTP and then there's a process. So uh, when, whenever you're clicking on any of the connector on the bottom, you can see the configuration of that connector. So this is HTTP. So we have configuration of HTTP. If you have SM, SMTP, we have configuration of SMTP. Likewise, other characters we have. 
so next is uh, uh, so we can go to here if you want to change the workspace we can go and switch workspace we can change workspace from here if you want to import some project we can use import functionality you can click on here and then click on any point zip folder click on next and then select your zip file from the your location and uh, yeah just click finish after this it will import the project on your in your system in this particular workspace if you want to export this project we can use buying export functionality and then we have like search we can search anything in this project like click on the search the content will let what you want to search let's say i want to search http and uh, let's say star pattern and click on search it will search all the http parts inside project we can clean build the project clicking on the bill it will clean the project and it will again build it and if we want to we have different perspective so we have like a debug perspective to debug something we have design perspective right now i'm in design perspective so if we can change the perspective according to our need so if i click on let's say debug perspective this will change the whole flow and then we have a mule debug on the top and then we have canvas and we can see like uh, m unit is there console problem and then connector configuration you can also change our perspective from here yeah so we can add some if you want like say i want to add uh, mm, let's say search is there http let's say i want to add a console i click on console it will console will come over here we can also reset the perspective if you had done something wrong or this like uh, it's things are going here and there we can re reset the perspective like this so it will set to the default one okay if we want to install any new software uh, go to help click on new software you need to give link over here like uh, like say i want to install some plugin like related to uh, munit or a mule requester i need to just take that like uh, mute update site need to give the site click on add here i need to give the location and the name and it will come over here and you can select whatever you want to install click on next and finish okay so let's say uh, this is my project uh, let's say let's do a small configuration and let's try to run this let's say this is localhost right now click on ok i will save it then there will be no error and then i will place one logger in flow here I can say project start save uh, to run this project we'll click on right click on the project then we can run in two ways we'll run as a mule application and then debug as a mule application so right now uh, we'll go through run as a mule application so it's basically all do all the stuff like uh, it will deploy our project in local and uh, i think we'll be ready we can use that so if there is any policies implementation this is doing in the back end so yeah i can see that this is successfully deployed if you want to stop the server there's a red button we can click on it to terminate the server okay so i think uh, yeah that's it for this video See you in next video. Thank you.